Um, next, um, you have the best prospect in probably like all the boxing and definitely in the 147 pound division, your son Jerron Ennis. Yes. Um, is there a, a date for, for the next fight? Well, I know it's sometime in, uh, in uh, January. You know what I mean? We don't have the specific uh, date right now, but I know for sure it's in January. 24 no, 22 knockouts. Um, like, what's what's next? Like, after this fight, are you looking for a title shot or are you looking for a top contender? Well, you know, what um, our son, what we try to do is fight anybody in the top 10, top 15. We would take our time, you know what I mean? Because I figure a lot of the young kids today, or the young fighters today, they are uh, moving too fast. I think they're moving too fast. They, they need to slow down a little bit, you know what I mean? And take their time and do it right, you know what I mean? I'm not even worrying about, you know, getting to a title shot right now. 2000, I mean, what, 2020, uh, I'll look around that time, you know, fight for a title. Do you see him staying at 147? Because he's kind of big for that week. I don't, I don't think that he's going to be there at 147 too long. You know what I mean? Because, you know, he's, he's framed. Like you said, he's kind of big, you know what I mean? His bones wise, structure wise. You remember, he's only 22 years old, so he's still grown. You know what I mean? Uh, how many fights do you see him having in 2020? 2020, I see about three, maybe three, three to four fights. And it's not going to be like it used to be. Now you you move it up the ladder, you get paid more money now. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a different situation. Is there um, any any like big network or a promoter that's courting you now? Or no, is there's it... a lot of uh, promoters, a lot of network that we are uh, looking into. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about it right now. Though. We got other things. In store, you know. Last 